This is video number four uh, in our series uh, foray analysis and um, the playlist that we're going to develop for our series, um, the playlist will be featured at the website at digital-university.org. Um, this is part three of our problem where we are trying to express this function in a foray series and the function is e to the x we're going from minus pi to plus pi and it's a periodic function and in the last video we were getting so close to determining the coefficient b sub n we have already determined a sub n and a sub zero so hopefully that with this video we'll finish our marathon and have the problem solved let's look at our expression here for b sub n here we have minus one to the n two hyperbolic sine of pi same thing over here so we can factor that out so this equals minus one to the n two hyperbolic sine of pi times this is a minus sign so it'll be one over this pi n times n squared plus one minus one over n pi and let's see that stays the same so we have n pi minus n pi times n squared plus one divided by n n squared pi squared times n squared plus one okay Let's keep things in focus and move along. This will equal, now up here, we can factor this out. So we have n pi times one minus n squared plus one divided by n squared pi squared times n squared plus one and this will cancel and that will take the squares out of there so this is gone and we have n pi like this and let's see what else do we have up here, one minus one, that cancels, and we have minus n squared, except this and this will cancel. So up in the numerator, we have minus n. So this b sub n equals, we'll write this down now minus one to the n two times the hyperbolic sine of pi and then here we have minus n so let's just do it like this we have minus minus one to the n two n hyperbolic sine of pi. This is minus n right here. So we'll just have minus n inserted right here like this. And we could write this as minus 1 to the n plus 1 if we want to. Um, this and it's divided by pi times 
n squared plus 1. But that's it. That finally then is our b sub n. So hopefully it didn't take too long to do that, but that's just the nature of when you're trying to uh, deal with these types of problems. So right now we have determined a naught, a sub n, b sub n, and here's our four-way expansion formula. Now let's put all the pieces together. So what we'll have is some room to make. So f of x equals a naught divided by 2 plus the sum and equal 1 to infinity a sub n, and in this case it's just the cosine of nx, plus b sub n, and again in this case just the sine of nx. The formula of course is cosine n pi over lx. Same thing for the sine, but here l is equal to pi. Okay. Now, a naught over 2 is 1 over pi, so, and here that's e to the x equals, then that will be the hyperbolic sine of pi divided by pi. Let's make that a little bit bigger. plus this sum. a sub n, that's this. So we have minus 1 to the n, 2 times the hyperbolic sine of pi divided by pi n squared plus 1. And b sub n has a minus sign. And of course that's this times the cosine of nx. And then it will be minus, all oh, this is under the summation sign here, minus, b sub n has a minus sign in this case, minus 1 to the n 2n. So we have minus 1 to the n, 2n times the hyperbolic sine of pi divided by pi n squared plus 1. And that's times the sine of nx. And n goes from 1 to infinity. So here is our formula. And here we have hyperbolic sine of pi over pi. And we have it here. And we have it here. So we can factor that out of the expression. And that will give us might look a little bit neater then. We would have hyperbolic sine of pi over pi times 1 plus 2 sine over pi, 2 hyperbolic sine over pi. So here it will be plus 2 with the hyperbolic sine over pi. We have a 2 in this case, with the summation n equal 1 to infinity. And then this is gone from the expression. This is on the outside now. 
This is on the outside now. On the inside we have minus 1 to the n minus 1 to the n divided by n squared plus 1. So we have minus 1 to the n divided by n squared plus 1 times the cosine of nx. And here we have an n left over, so we have minus n sine nx. And there, finally, is our answer. Now, this is e to the x, where x goes from minus pi to plus pi. We were concerned just with that range of it, and also it is a periodic function. And we had just kind of roughly sketched that out. something like this. Okay, but there's the expression for it. And hopefully that didn't take so too long. But again, when you we kind of went through all the steps here. Just sort of give you an idea of the time factor that's involved when you're dealing with these types of problems. Um, the calculus that's involved isn't all that difficult. There's just a lot of small steps. And you want to go through them slowly and carefully because it's always easy to make some silly mistake and that can throw your whole answer off. Okay, um, come back, join us for the next video, and what we're going to do is look at a sawtooth function. And we will try to find a four-way expansion for it both with our standard trig formula and also using the complex exponential formula. We use both approaches so you get a chance to compare the two. Okay, that's it for this problem. Uh, come back, join us for some more videos, and we'll try and solve some more problems.